Sandy Roberts with Peter McKenna. All right, stand by. I might let you... 13 goals scored in the first term as we go into the second here at the Junction Oval with Carlton leading by seven points from the centre bounce. Alexander goes down trying to bring the ball out. He can't. And umpire Marcy will have a bounce. Top goal scorers on the ground at the moment. Bazasto and Marku have two for Carlton while Poynton has two for Fitzroy. Johnston, the biggest kick winner on the ground. That was kick number nine for him down towards Bazasto. Can't take it on the first grab. Snares it now, but needs support. Oh, he does it well too. Sets up the handball for Johnston. Kick number ten in towards full forward. It bounces through and put that one down for Bazasto. Great work at half forward to get it across to Johnston, who with kick number ten made no mistake about it. And Carlton, a very good start to this second term. Go to 8-2, 40. 50, I should say, and Fitzroy 6-1-37. There's no doubt, doubt about the danger of Bazasto up on that forward line, and uh, both, both he and Johnston are thorns in the side of Fitzroy at the moment because he's Bazasto is giving Laurie Serafini the real run around, and Johnston running past for handballs, and he certainly can cap it off up forward. Here's the ball over the back, and they need Quinlan firing Fitzroy. There's no doubt about that. The ball over the back, chance for Marku. Has the ball knocked out of his hands, going after it was Bazasto. Brown for Fitzroy, hooks it back towards Carlson. He grabs it. Can he control it? Yes, now he does. Hand passes out wide to McMahon. McMahon will go over the top again. Well, he should have, I would say, to Quinlan. And look at that. That was bad play by David McMahon. An easy mark there taken by Wells. Wells kicks it towards a loose man there at centre-half back and Mike Fitzpatrick over to McClure. McClure on the left foot towards half-forward. Bazasto diving oh. attempt, almost a mark. A great effort by Bazasto. Got one. And now the umpire's running in to speak to her. Uh, looks like a reportable offence. He's had a look at the number. Is it Chris Smith? Yes, he had a look at Chris Smith's number. Then he went across to Bazasto. So, there could be a player fronting the tribunal. Bazasto too far out to score, but he's been given one of the most generous 15 metres you've ever seen in your life. And was he taking it back to Ashman? So, Ashman, only 45 metres out, has already kicked one. A little bit of spice coming into the game. There's plenty of life. Rod Ashman. High drop punt, but I think he could be offline for one point only. That takes Carlton to 8-3, 51. Fitzroy a 6-1-37. Chris Hansen brings the ball back into play. High drop punt. Serafini. Free kick was given to Alexander, back to Serafini. This time onto the left boot, to the centre wing. Chance for Fitzroy to go forward again. It was Braddy's kick. Over the top goes Carlton's Mark McClure, and we'll see Poynton. Had a purple patch early on the first term. Carlson, a right foot snap. Offline, well offline, however and out of bounds on the full. First time they've had it down in their attacking zone this term. Kick back into play was a shocker. And uh, umpire Nash. Now pointing out the uh, correct position for Lee Manane. And the ball is returned by Lee McConnon to Kenny Sheldon, who will take the kick again. That's a better kick, a tumble punt. Dool tries to snap it on the half volley, stolen by Carlson, onto the right boot, a high ball. Manane, front spot, can't complete the mark. And uh, the umpire's picked up a free kick. Going the way of Matt Rendell. <laughs> Mandrake the magician wouldn't get a job here. Can't pluck them like this. Matt Rendell hasn't a goal to date. Been used at full forward, interchanging on the ball. The kick by Rendell looks pretty good. One goal to Fitzroy. 
first to Matt Randall and they're seventh. So Carlton are 8 3, 51. Fitzroy trail by eight points. They're 7 1, 43 on Sevens Big League. Big knock away. Back towards the centre of the ground. Hand pass coming to McConnell on the left foot. He goes towards centre half forward. Rendell caught behind once again. The champion in front. Geez, a good player. Manet and he plays on. He's given it to Rendell on his own. The goal square into the open goal. Oh, he would, could have nearly been caught, but he's put it through for his second goal in two minutes. And Fitzroy have come closer to Carlton. They've gone on to eight goals, one. Uh, what's that, Sandy? 49. 49. I'm waiting for that scoreboard attendant. He's very slow. Carlton, eight goals, 351. And Matt Randall emulating the feat of Michael Poynton. Two goals in approximately 60 seconds. And the Lions are roaring once again. Two points the margin. This is a great game of football. Centre bounce with Alexander. Fitzpatrick getting the favourable knock. Straight down to McConnell, shrugs two tackles, goes with a high kick that gathers no distance at all. Carlson has it thumped away and was pushed in the process. Lee Carlson's had a good game so far. Kick number six. Has a look and goes with his left boot up towards half forward. Almost a mark could have been paid. Well shot the handball out the back, but it's Quinlan who steals it. Dodges beautifully. Oh, he could get caught. Tries to set up the handball. It's a bad one. And Marku brings the ball away with a long kick. Smith, a bit of nudging there at centre-half forward. Alexander over the top, down for Vazasto. Serafini goes in. Howell can't pick it up. Eventually, Vazasto does. Players allowed to go on as Glascott gets a hurried kick up towards half forward. Laurie spills what he should have taken. McConnell gets caught. Play on is the call. David McKay through, but can't get away with the ball. And umpire Marcy, who perhaps could have given the free kick then, McConville looked well and truly caught, decides on a bounce. 40 metres out from goal. Or well, McKay used the body, illegally, according to umpire Marcy, and this time Alexander takes the free kick. Out wide. Giving Leon Harris the opportunity to send a wing. But uh, then looking for, but not finding Bernie Quinlan at the moment. Fitzpatrick uh, proving too strong. That wasn't exactly positive football. Perovic swings it back to half forward. Free kick again has been picked up. And it's going to go the way of Scott Howell, I think. Just on the defensive side of centre half forward. He'll put the Blues into attack. Here's the kick. The drop punt right there towards the goal square. McCarthy takes front position. McConville over the back. Here's a chance for Glasgow. In goes Malin. Umpire might play the free kick here. Yes, he said that Malin popped it in the head. And look a bit of altercation here between Alexander and Mackay. Nothing serious, I wouldn't think, but Carlton will have the free kick. Malin right in front, 15 metres out. And this should put should put Carlton's ninth goal on the board. Phil Malin. Ex-Woodville player in South Australia. Kick at the goals, and he's put that one right through the centre for his first and Carlton's ninth. So Carlton go on to nine goals, 3.57, leading Fitzroy, eight goals, 1.49. Tell you what, things are warming up here at the Junction Oval. Centre bounce once again. 9-3 to 8-1. Fitzpatrick wins it. Taken by McMahon down to half forward. A hurried kick. Snared by Brady. No one at home and Wells should take it on the chest. He can play on. Too much pace for Poynton. He gets away. Sets up the handball to Sheldon. Sheldon a hurried left foot kick down to half forward. But there's Smith. Done a good job. Battled hard. Long kick up towards half forward. Quinlan in from the side, almost completes the mark. Hasn't held too many as yet to date, and that's certainly what Fitzroy will be looking for. Well, he's been closely attended by Bruce Duell, and not many players find it easy to get kicks on Bruce Duell. No, that's very true. Fitzpatrick wins that one beautifully. Towards centre wing. Howell is there, can't take it. Leaves it for his teammate, however. Oh, arms popped a beauty! <laughs> 
But I tell you what, I've never seen a player get up so quickly. You could have a slight altercation here. It's been very similar to putting a pot of water on a saucepan. It's slowly been warming up and just about reached boiling point. Well, Vicar is very good. Vigor is good, especially by a big player, but when it costs you a, a kick down the field, 60 metre kick, and puts your opponent, or one of your opponents, within kicking distance, it's not good. And that's exactly what happened on that situation there. Condal now is going to shoot for goal from only 35 metres out directly in front, so you know, if they kick the goal, well, it's bad play by Fitzpatrick. There's the kick. Will it swing in? Yes, I'd say. Just through. No, hit the post. Well, I thought it came off uh, the players' hands behind the goals there, and that's a point to Carlton, and they go under nine goals, 4.58. Fitzroy, 8.149. And kicking off, there is number 16 for Fitzroy, and that's Hanson. Off towards halfback, they go over the line and out of bounds. 58 plays 49. While all that was going on, Mike Fitzpatrick just having some quiet words with Peter Bazasto. Howe, front spot. McCarthy couldn't control it. Sock it off the ground. Uh, there's no stopping Young Harms. McCarthy again. Sweeping handball. And Carlson's kick in towards the centre. Couldn't be controlled by Coslin. He's been well held. The chance now for McMahon. Gets his kick in time. Harms possibly late on the scene. And again the three down the ground this time will go to Matt Rendell and, <laughs> and I think he would have marked the ball anyway Sandy I think he had the drop yep. on McClure and so uh, he didn't need to get that free kick down the ground and look at what a dangerous player he is he was right out of the game in the first quarter yet here he is lining up for his third goal of the match yes he's kicked two, two so far in this term pretty important kick for Fitzroy a drop punt that goes as high as it does long and hasn't quite made it and is eventually rushed through for one point. Here's the kick from McClure, right out towards half-back Blake. A big fly by Conlon over the back of the pack. It favours Fitzpatrick. He's looking for the hand pass. Gives it the kick, short kick down towards Howell. He's bundled out of the way. Kicked off the ground towards Carlton's half-forward line. Out comes Mackay. Off his hands over the line and out of bounds. Right in front of the one-eyed and very vocal Fitzroy stand. Mackay to do the ruck work against Hanson. Kai takes front position. Hanson ends up in front. Oh, it should have been a free kick. The Fitzroy player held there was Harris. Umpire not in the position to see. Look at him doing the block, and he's right. It's not going to give him the kick, but he was held by Manley going for that ball. And umpire Nash completely out of position. Hanson over the back. Oh, Johnson is a danger player. Hooks it back towards the goal square. McCarthy and McConville. McCarthy almost a good mark. Oh, he's fumbled it at the split second. A chance, a real let in for Carlton. Almost a free kick. Is a right foot snap. Is it through? It was Bazasto was the player through for one behind. So Carlton going to 9-5-59. Fitzroy 8-2-50. Gerald McCarthy to bring the ball back into play. He ignores Alexander on the grandstand flank and goes straight down the centre. Scouting McMahon. Smith caught by Harms. Play on is the call. Carlson setting out the long handball, but umpire Nash has picked up the free kick. And it'll go to McMahon at centre half back. 59 plays 50. A nine point margin to Carlton. Handball to Serafini. Gets away from Bazasto to half forward Marku from behind takes a good mark he plays on there's a long kick for Carlton by McClure down towards half forward but Hanson is there again the handball to Serafini and again the Lions out of trouble to send a wing over the head of Malin and taken by Carlton who's just about Fitzroy's best player at the moment that's kick number 10 down towards the half forward line Conlon late on the scene McClure and Wells to Fitzpatrick a hurry kick over the head of Malin. This may bounce over the line. In fact, it's still kept in play by Smith. He's tackled too high. Bitten into the ground and will take the free kick. And he's playing a great game at the centre-half back position, Chris Smith. Well on top of Scott Howell at the moment, but gives Howell his due. He is trying to put pressure on Smith and is putting in a real effort. Here's Alexander. He's the bad boy as far as uh, 
Carlton are concerned, down towards the half forward line. Duel and Quinlan. Quinlan beautifully gives it back to Carlson. Here's the ball smothered. Manane's got it. Hooks it back towards the half forward line. Grady is there, and also the Fitzroy player there in Conlon over the line. Now the bounce goes the ball. Half forward flank this time in Fitzroy's forward zone. And the crowd certainly getting their money's worth here at the Junction Oval today. McClure. Howe. Oh. Too slow, Scott Howe. And McMahon showing more experience then. He plays on, sets up the handball. A chance for Leon Harris. Oh, he copped it. Beauty as he went to ground after he'd kicked it. And while the umpire, umpire Nash chats with Hartney behind the play, it'll be Bernie Quinlan to have a set shot for goal directly in front and a wry grin coming over the face well, of Peter McKenna. I said it five minutes ago, you can't afford right physical presses all right, but not when a bloke's about to kick the ball. There's Quinlan firing at the goals and that's his second goal of the match and Fitzroy hanging in there. A great effort by Fitzroy. They're on 9 2 50 Six. to Carlton, 9 5 59. And the line of goals I can't continues. Help it. My mathematics isn't as good as that scoreboard attendance. Great working well, with the school teacher. Bernie Quinlan. Two kicks, two goals. Thank you, Kevin. Centre bounce. One by Fitzpatrick. A mighty fist down towards half forward. Serafini. Well, I thought that was a pretty good bump. But he's got the free kick. The half forward, but uh, the umpire is bringing it back. He's now got 15. So he will kick from virtually the centre of this junction oval. Three points the margin. Some 17 minutes gone in this second term. Fitzroy have added three goals so far this quarter. Carlton's two, and there's a great mark by Matt Rendell. Too far out to score. When he does kick a drop punt, he tends to give it a little too much air. Let's see what he does on this occasion. Well, that's a better kick. In towards full forward. Quinlan unable to control it. But has a hurried snap. And goals. That's what they want. Bernie firing. He's kicked three. And has really come into his own in this term. And Fitzroy hit the front. 10-2. 62. Carlton a 9-5-59 and a great game of football going on here at the Junction Oval on Seven's Big League. And we both agreed, Sandy, of course, that uh, Quinlan is the key to Fitzroy. If he can get into the game, well, he's been well held by Bruce Duell all My right word. throughout the game, yet he's kicked three goals. And, you know, like if he keeps that up, he could end up with six. And so that's the danger of Bernie Quinlan. He's always there. He's got tremendous skills. And... Uh, that should have been a ridiculous decision again. He was in possession of the ball, no doubt he was lying on top of that. The umpire said it was holding the man, so I can't work it out. Here's Wayne Harms, a wobbly old kick towards centre half forward, going back was Alexander. Oh, there's the big thump, it favours Sheldon. Sheldon on the left foot, he fires at the goals. It's a beautiful kick, but just offline and Trooper one behind. So Carlton go under nine goals, 660. Fitzroy, 10 goals, two beautiful kicking, 62. McCarthy brings the ball back into play. Oh, and it's a shocking kick. Manane may just get there. He does. Tucked in the back pocket, Lee Manane. Very good footballer. And it's interesting to see, Sandy, that uh, Carlton already have made a move at fullback. They've got Perovic playing on Rendell. And uh, McClure's playing up there on Craig Braddy. Right, well, here's the throw-in. Fitzpatrick trying to do it from behind. Over the head of Quinlan it goes. Hartney, possession, but caught. Beautifully tackled. Back towards Mackay, bundled out of it. Has the mark. Howell on the lead, but a tremendous grab by Laurie Serafini. Saw Brown going past, but goes for the kick to Carlson. He's having a great game. Lee Carlson, short, could be dangerous to McMahon. And there's a very good grab, and that would have hurt. What, he hurt himself too. I'll put that down for one of the marks of the day. It looked like Harms, was it? Was it Wayne Harms? Yeah, I uh, think so. 
Well, he went up. McMahon stood his ground because he thought that ball was just going to be delivered beautifully to him. And Harms coming over the top. There you can see the 37 on his back. And that certainly would have taken the wind out of his side. Would it ever? He jackknifed for that one. And they've, uh, they've got an injury in the uh, back. Is it Mark Koo or the other guy that I get mixed up with? He looks very much like him. Hart, he might be coming off the ground. He looks as though he's done an ankle too. Well, there's the kick up towards half forward. Carlton trailing at the moment. McConville through without it. Danger man, Bazasto. A hurried kick in towards Howell. Here's a chance at the back now. But in the meantime, the free kick's been picked up. It will go the way of Fitzroy, and I think Chris Hansen will take it on the last line of defence. Is at the other end of the ground. Hartney is, uh, as Peter called it, looks as though he's done an ankle and has been carried from the arena. Leon Harris accepts the handball from Alexander, going over centre wing. Fitzroy starting to go again. Here's Manane receiving long up towards Rendell, who was caught out of possession on that occasion, and Val Perovic takes a very good mark. Perovic at full back. It's a floater. McMahon! There's a great grab. Forward of centre, he'll put the Lions deep into attack. Ignoring the lead of Craig Braddy. Goes in towards Manane. Almost took it over the top. Now there's Rendell. Scooped out by Manane again. The opportunity is there. A hurried kick over to half forward. Braddy from behind. McClure couldn't hold it. The handball is shot out. Call for holding the ball is ignored. Conlon hasn't been able to get in the game a lot so far today. Eventually a hurried kick by McConnon. A high ball towards full forward. A big pack of players. No mark paid. McClure it is with a hurried kick out wide. Chance for Sheldon to use some pace. He goes to ground. Nothing in that. Smith steadies. Goes short, out looking for Lee Manane once again, but the boundary line beats him and Rod Ashman, and a throw in to take place. 23 minutes gone in the second quarter, and Fitzroy clinging onto their lead. The difference at the moment, two points, and it's on half forward line as Rendell cleverly knocked it down towards Manane. Out it goes, and the kick by Herbert right down towards full forward, and Quinlan comes out in front of Bruce Dill, and you wouldn't believe it. He's already kicked three goals. He's going to line up for his fourth after us saying he's been a quiet player. Well, we have already seen him throughout the season, Peter. He hasn't always put four quarters of football together, but if he puts one together, he usually kicks five or six goals in that turn. There's another one on the board, and the Lions go further ahead. 11-2, 68. An eight-point break over Carlton for the 9-6, 60. To 11 at three-quarter time, but went away in the last quarter to score by 25 points from Carlton in the big upset of the round. 